Welcome to Japanese Chin Care and Training Tips from www.trainpetdog.com. Will Japanese chins be suitable for multiple dog households? The Japanese chin is a small spaniel originally bred to serve as companions to the female members of the Japanese imperial family. Its country of origin is still in dispute, as some claim that it originated in China and was only introduced into Japan in the 8th century BC. This breed has a large, broad head, a short muzzle, and wide set, protruding eyes. The single layer, silky coat varies in size and length. Most chins have white coats with black markings, although there can also be red coats with tan points. The average height of chins is 18 to 28 centimeters, while the average weight is 2 to 7 keg. Due to its pampered nature, Japanese chins are known to be mild mannered, dainty, and elegant. Chins are loyal to their owners, making them faithful companion dogs. Although affectionate, gentle, and friendly to their owners, Japanese chins are not recommended for families with small children. This is due to the breed's diminutive size and proneness for accidental injuries. While chins are generally not child friendly for the most part, they are remarkably good and peaceful with other dogs and pets that may live with them in a home. There are many compelling reasons why Japanese chins are suitable for households with multiple dogs. Japanese chins are non barker dogs by nature. These dogs have often been compared to cats because of their quiet nature and cleanliness. If you already own other dogs that tend to bark extremely or incessantly over trivial things, a Japanese chin would not add up to noisy ruckus. Japanese chins only bark when they see a total stranger or sense something unusual has occurred. Japanese chins enjoy companionship a lot and are very dependent upon their owners. They love to be with their human families, fellow chins, and other household pets. Being left alone for extended periods of time can make a chin miserable and develop behavioral problems. For this reason, Japanese chins are not for pet owners who work long hours. However, a company of other dogs will make Japanese chins happy and entertained. Furthermore, socializing Japanese chins to become friendly towards other dogs is very easy when done as puppies. Compared to other small breeds of dogs, Japanese chins are highly trainable due to their spaniel roots. Enrolling your Japanese chin in a puppy class at an early age is the fastest and easiest way to socialize it. If this is not possible, simply encouraging positive interactions with other dogs will make your chin sociable. Although the Japanese chin is a loving and gentle breed, there are a few pointers to bear in mind if you look into adding a chin when you already have one or more dogs. First, take extra care to protect this fragile dog from your other large dogs. Because of its tiny size, a rough play with a bigger dog can prove to be dangerous or even fatal to a Japanese chin. Also, be careful on how you interact with your other pets. Japanese chins like to be the center of their owner's attention. They can become jealous or brooding when their owners pay more attention to other dogs. Japanese chins are docile and mild mannered little dogs that enjoy companionship with both people and other dogs. If you already have dogs in your household, adding a Japanese chin will not be a problem. Thank you for watching. Will Japanese chins be suitable for multiple dog households? To know more about caring for your Japanese chin, please visit the link below.